breaking news adopters request 20 million as ransom to free ekiti monarch hello my wonderful people we kept you up to date on um, the monarch in ekiti state the oba what happened was the first time he was returning from a journey they shot sporadically at his car and he was able to escape uh, with some gunshot injury and was later admitted in hospital few days after he you know was well and returned back home guess what happened as soon as he got home from the hospital not long before you could say jack robinson he was at home about 8 p.m with his family and people who came to visit him and guess what there were people already trying to adopt him who started beating members of his family and they dragged him out of his home forcefully now the people that came to adopt him have made contact the fulani headsmen are asking for 20 million naira please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time let's get all the details with regards to all that is going on right now breaking news adopters requires and request for 20 million as ransom to free ekiti monarch the adopters of ekiti traditional ruler oba david Oyewumi have reached out to his relative demanding 20 million as ransom to free the traditional ruler or should defender learns that gunmen numbering six last thursday besieged adopted the oba at around 8 30 pm a relative of the victim who preferred not to be named told journalists the adopters of a kitty traditional ruler have reached out to the family members now demanding 20 million as ransom before they will free the traditional ruler the news has continued to spread relative of the brief victim who preferred not to be mentioned also told journalists that the, the kidnappers has demanded that this money be paid immediately we have been contacted they called us at around 7.03 p.m. on Saturday and demand that we pay a sum of 20 million naira before the king can be released. We are really worried about this demand. The family is taking further steps to ensure Kabi AC is released as soon as possible, the source has said. This was disclosed by the police relation, public relation officer AKT Command, ASP, Sunday, Agwetu on monday told the police and other security agencies that they are making efforts to res to rescue the monarch from captivity agwetu said we are taking all security measures to ensure that we secure the release of the oba and we are not resting at all we are working around the clock with our sister agencies in this regard and also working on intelligence gathering we have at our disposal to ensure his safe release the police wants to work more to prevent this kind of crime and we are relying on information from members of the public because we work more on information when we have such we are able to act quickly and know what direction to take we appeal to members of the public to help us with information let them report any strange face or suspicious person at the to the police we assure you that the police will protect your identity and ensure that the information is secure we will not we will not reveal it to anybody so this is what is going on we are all aware we've been keeping you up to date with regards to and uh, what's been going on with the oba yes the oba in ikiti state that is the state where we have um uh, uh IME as the governor uh, this has been going on for some time now. We've been keeping you up to date. Initially, the Oba was returning from a journey. And before you could say Jack Robinson, they were just, you know, he just, his vehicle was being shot at sporadically. He escaped. The driver did a good job, drove, and, you know, out of the whole uh, thing that we were trying to, he drove out and was successful, was able to, you know, come out of it. Fine. He sustained some gunshot injury or do, and uh, you know that went on, and you know they went to the hospital and he was treated and just went back home. Has hardly recovered when 
before you could say anything, they came to his home last week Thursday. Yes? And forcefully tried to take him out of his home. They beat up members of his family, rounded up all that were in the palace, started beating them up, asking, where is the Kabiesi? Where is the Kabiesi? They had no choice. And before you could know, Kabiesi was hearing of the shouts and all that, came down and immediately about gunmen numbering about six of them adopted the Kabiesi. What is happening? Do you know that this governor, the governor of the state, is one of such people who, you know, has said that he has one of those people who has already released land to the Fulanese. You know, he has is one of and this KBAC, his crime is that he's one of the people who is speaking and saying, um, we should not give our father's lands to the Fulanese. You know, he's one of those people who is kicking against it and saying, No, um, why not uh, allow our people, our own very people have what, what we call, uh, you know, begin to uh, uh, rear cattle. Instead of foreigners coming in the disguise to take over our land, we cannot allow this. This is not acceptable. So it's one of those people who has been speaking seriously against this. And some people, you know, some quarters are saying, hence, some people are trying to, you know, teach him a lesson, especially the Fulani groups are trying to say, okay, you want to say that we cannot come to your land, right? Let us teach you a lesson. Apparently, this is what we heard that is going on and uh, you know plots are on ground to you know to 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 teach him a lesson apparently but the truth of the matter is we all are responsible for security if those that have been elected are playing games with the lives and property of people i don't think we should also deceive ourselves you know this is a pointer to us that if nigeria remains by 2023 if nigeria is still won at that time Please, no well-sane human being should go and stand behind any politician that you are voting them in. You can see all that is going on. Honestly speaking, not propaganda. Do they care about you? Let's be honest for once. Can you see, can you tell that honestly they care? Oh, they are making efforts. See the way they've gone out of their way to ensure that A, B, C, D is done. Can you say that they care? Let's be, let's, let's take it. I mean, let, don't just take my word for it. Let's analyze. Let's talk about it. Can you say that they genuinely and sincerely care? In America or in other countries of the world, they are, they are, they are concerned about their people. You will see governments of nations warning their people, please don't go there. That place is a bit dangerous. So what, see what happened the other time in, in Nigeria when the whole of America sent their special forces to come and rescue one citizen all the way from America. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.